Hello everybody and welcome to today's video tutorial. My name is Dave Rospro and I will be showing you how to create your own Facebook PPC campaign from scratch. We have a lot to cover today as shown above. My hope is that this video tutorial will shed some light on the basic setup process for new Facebook campaigns and therefore enable more advertisers like you and I to take advantage of Facebook's massive user audience. So let's get started. First, you'll need to create a Facebook page for your business or brand. To do this, click on the link that says Create a Page from the Facebook homepage. After you've clicked the link, your screen should look like the image above. As you can see, Facebook pages can be created for nearly anything, including brands, institutions, causes, and many more. For the purpose of today's walkthrough, I've selected to use the company organization or institution option. Here, you need to select the genre that your company or business falls under. Then, Simply choose a name for your Facebook page and accept the Facebook page's terms. After you've added your basic business info, you need to set up a new account. Of course, this is assuming you haven't set one up already. If it's already set up, simply click the link above that says, I already have a Facebook account. Otherwise, input a new email address and password, then specify your date of birth as shown above. After you've input your, in your account information, you need to confirm your email address in order to finish the account creation process. An automatic message will then be sent to the email address used in the previous step, so simply click on the link provided upon receiving said email, as shown above. Next, Facebook will ask you to upload a profile picture to use with your account. However, the system also allows you to skip this step if, step if necessary. You then need to add some contextual information and URLs for your website. As with the last step, you have the option to skip this portion as well. Now that the preliminary info is taken care of, you will now need to enable the advertising features and input your billing info. To enable the advertising features in your account, simply click the button indicated by the red arrow above. You might also notice that advertisers are allowed to skip this step as well. However, keep in mind that you won't be able to advertise on Facebook until you complete this. Once you click Enable Ads, you will then be prompted to add a funding source, as shown above. Nothing too crazy here, just select one of their supported payment types and input your billing information. So for the next part of the process, you will need to create your first Facebook ad. To do this, navigate to the advertising section and click create an ad, indicated by the red arrow in the screenshot above. If you're having trouble finding it, you can always scroll down and click on create an ad in the footer links at the bottom of the Facebook homepage. First, you will be asked to choose your Facebook destination or provide an external URL. As you can see above, they offer a few different possibilities, including you can use external URLs, Facebook URLs, or destination IDs. If none of these are suitable, you can also select specific pages and places around Facebook. After you've specified a destination to send your traffic, it's finally time to create your first Facebook ad. One of the cool things about this is Facebook's live ad preview tool, as shown in the screenshot above. It even shows you how social interactions look with your ad as well. Now, a standard Facebook ad is limited to 25 characters for headlines and 90 characters for text descriptions. You might notice that we have 20 additional characters than your traditional PPC description lines allow, so be sure to use those extra characters to your advantage to create engaging ads. It's also important to pay close attention to the supported image size, which Facebook denotes as 100 by 72 pixels. This way, you can be sure that your image isn't skewed for your customers. So now that we have our first ad created, it's time to dive into the robust targeting options that Facebook offers. As you can see in the screenshots above, 
Facebook offers powerful options you can use to help target your ads and cater to niche audiences. You can choose from precise interests, broad categories, connections, and additional advanced options, such as relationship status, education, and workplace backgrounds. You are also allowed to layer on multiple targeting options, which can be an effective way to target niche audiences with specific genders, ages, interests, and more. Once you've finished defining your targeting options, Facebook offers customized audience and bid estimates as outlined in the red box above. To help you get started, this is one of my favorite parts about the targeting tool because it, uh, it updates dynamically with each extra layer of targeting added or removed. After you've spent some time deciding which targeting options are right for your business, you will need to specify your campaign settings and review the ad you created previously. This should be pretty straightforward. Simply give your campaign a name and budget, then choose whether you want it to start running today or at a later date. This is also where you set your campaign bid. In the example above, I've entered a bid slightly above the lower limit of my suggested bid. However, these can always be adjusted later as well. Here, advertisers have the opportunity to review their campaign settings, ad copy, targeting options, and more before launching. Simply click Place Order if everything looks good. After you've finalized and launched your new campaign, it's important to set up conversion tracking so you can monitor performance. Just announced recently, your first option is to set up your conversion tracking directly through the Facebook ad interface. However, the alternative option prior to this change, you had to track them manually in Google Analytics with custom tags. Now, for this example, click on conversion tracking on the left hand side nav, then on the green button that says create conversion pixel. To create your first Facebook conversion pixel, you'll need to give it a name and select from one of the supported categories. Once you've done so, Facebook will generate a conversion pixel code for your site. Simply copy and paste the provided code between the head tags on your thank you page and you're good to go. The pixel will then remain unverified until an action occurs. So there you have it, a new Facebook ad campaign built from scratch. I hope that you found this video helpful, so please feel free to leave any feedback in the comments section below. Thanks for watching.